Hey, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can load and save files in a local system from an 8N. So we're going to head over an 8N and of course we need at least to set up only uh, one workspace or a dock system that we are going to uh, set up as the path for it. So for example, we are going to start by saving files and then uh, and that by uh, creating them on an 8N. How is that? Basically, you're going to create a new workflow and that workflow is going to be consisting of the first step, which is going to be having the trigger manually. So you're going to have this. We are going to double click on that and we are going to have something created in here. So let's say that it is going to be a JSON text. For example, here we have this one. I am going to have this. So I'm going to have everything set up with the first and the second one. Uh, code one and code two. We are going to save it just like that. As, as you can see, the JSON uh, items. Now, aside from that, we are going to add another path to the workflow, which is uh, going to be here. Um, we are going to have uh, the uh, file creation. So we are going to uh, set up here convert, or we are going to have convert to file so we are going to convert as you can read in here json data to binary data so you can go ahead and choose the right format that you want for example here we have uh, as you can see xls uh, or xlsx uh, here you can go ahead and have json html csv whatever it is going to be up to you to set up the format let's say that we are going to create a json files then we are going to have the operation so you're going to set the convert to we have you can also change the choices as much as you want the mode we are going to have all items to one file the uh, put uh, output file here in here is going to be data we're going to add an option in here which is going to be the file name so you can go ahead and type in the file name for example we are going to type in um, here test.json like that and here we have it so you can go ahead and run and test in here so you're going to see that you have uh, as you can see your file so this is the file you can go ahead and download it now the third step is going to be uh, related to the reading and writing so here we have the saving file so you can go ahead and type in write and read as you can see here read or write files from the computer that runs an 8n so we are going to have read and write so first it, it, when we have the, uh, converted the file you're going to write it first so that means that you're going to save it so how you can do that you're going to select it then you're going to select the path that you're going to have for example you can go ahead and have the path for example as shared uh, like that shared slash data and then you're going to type in the name for example test of the file json and you can go ahead and put the binary uh, field in here and then you can go ahead and have uh, some options added here and there so you can go ahead and test it out so this file is not readable so that means that we have the file in here so i'm going to delete that and see if we are going to have it so I have um, deleted the path and the name of it, so I can go ahead and download it at anyway. So we are going to do it right back. Now you can go ahead and have this as a download. Now, if you're going to have a write or write the file, you're going to have here to transfer this specific node of read and write to double tap and send the operation to read file. And then you're going to select the file selector. So you can go ahead and edit in, uh, open the edit in window in here and then set up the file selector to load the files in here. So you're going to have, for example, as you can see here, this path, uh, this is the file selector, and then you're going to type in the name and the format of the file. That was pretty much it for today's video. Thank you guys for watching. I hope that you have enjoyed the content and I hope to see you soon on the next one.